Good morning, everybody. It is April 21st. This is going to be a hopefully short update. Two exciting things, plus I've added in two new homeworks for you guys uh, as well. Uh, I'm going to put all these into Google Classroom and Schoology um, as an assignment for you guys to do. In Schoology, it'll be right at the top. It'll be a new assignment. I haven't finished it yet because I want to put in the link to this video. But you are going to need Nearpod, and there's where you're going to find the uh, code for it. Um, and then same thing in school and Google Classroom, it'll be at the top of the stream as a new assignment in the updates folder, the updates folder, and you'll need that code right there. So let's do that Z-A-Q-E-O, and we'll go into it together, nearpod.com, Z-A-Q-E-O. And that should work. Here we go. So I'll enter in my name, boom, I'm going to join it, and really quickly go through a couple things. This is a weather update, and then talking about the review book as well. A couple quick things with the weather. This is the weather for Tuesday, to this morning. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, see, blue thing right here, this front, hopefully remember the blue is a cold front. We know it's a cold front, uh, obviously from the symbol, but if you look at the weather, this is pretty severe rain and wind and it moved very quickly through this morning. But look at the difference in temperatures. Here you're in the 40s and 150, and on the other side is much colder air in the 30s. And this moved across us here today. Right now it's only in the 30s here in Buffalo because this blue thing moved over us. But it's a little review with the weather, right? Classic cold front moving through over us, leaving us behind all this colder air. We know it's been a pretty cold April for us. It's been one of the colder Aprils um, in the last you know, 10 years or so. Something else that we're lucky that we don't have is all the tornadoes that have been happening all across. Severe weather, tornadoes, hail, everything happening across uh, the south here. Specifically here, we talked about this when we did tornadoes. Tornado Alley is a little bit over here. There's this new thing called Dixie Alley, and they've been pummeled with tornadoes. Florida had three tornadoes yesterday. There have been three F4 tornadoes alone in this relatively small section in Mississippi. Um, this was from Sunday. All these tornadoes, the red ones are the actual tornadoes. There have been a lot of tornadoes um, so far this year. It's one of the deadlier years in the last decade. And then for us, for wind, while we're not getting tornadoes, you might have noticed it's been very windy. It's windy right now outside. I can hear it. Uh, five of our last seven days, we had a wind gust of almost 40 miles an hour, which is a, a lot. Now, 39 miles an hour is a pretty random number, but it's, that means it's been very windy recently, um, which tends to happen this time of year with rain. But the outlook, we know it's been a pretty cold April so far. The outlook, guys, this is for 8 to 14 days from now, so anywhere from a week to two weeks from now. We're expected to be below average temperature wise so it's not getting all that much warmer it's going to get warmer but it's not going to be don't expect a lot of upper 50s 60s just yet it'll be still in the 40s maybe hitting 50 every once in a while all right next thing tomorrow is wednesday and it is earth day it is the 50th anniversary of earth day 50 years since the first earth day um so what I did is, since we don't have class, we don't do a big thing for Earth Day, I might add something into class tomorrow on Schoology and Google Classroom. But if we're in class, we do something. But since we're not, all I really want you guys to do is go to this link on the next slide here that just pops up on the Weather Channel. And it's showing you how our Earth has changed since the last Earth Day, which was only one year ago, 2019. How has our Earth changed? Five ways it's changed since our last Earth Day. This will be a video. It'll pop up. My internet's slow. You can watch it. Um, you got to pay attention, though. It's a short video. It's like 50 seconds. Um, because the next slide after that is questions. And I'd like you to list those five ways. So you got to watch the video. I added the link in here again. Um, and I'd like you to list, you can list your five ways. A new thing you guys can do, by the way, is you can record yourselves giving me an answer. Remember to always hit submit at the bottom corner. But you now can record your answers and have it submit in. You just hit record, and then you can say whatever it is that you want. It's obviously picking up my voice right now. Stop. You can trash it if you want, or you can hit submit, which I will do. Submit. And there we go. The last thing I want to share with you guys is we can now get our review book free online. Um, 
The link is going to be on Schoology and Google Classroom plus in a couple slides from now on this thing. There is a username and password that you use. It's the same for every person. I did not create it. It was given to me. It's a little bulky. Uh, it's not easy to remember, but it is what it is. But it allows us to get free access to our review book online, which we've never had before, which is great. Um, so what's going to happen in the next slide? I'll give you the link. Here is the username and password, though. Okay, again, it's a little bulky. I'll put this in Schoology and Google Classroom, but if you wanted to keep this, this is open for you guys to use this um, in your pod. So there it is. And you're going to, the link opens up. Right? And it asks you for the username and password. So you're going to take that username and password, just put it in that it gave you. And that should look like uh, this right here. Okay? So it doesn't say answer key, this is the teacher one. Uh, and you get all these different ones. You can get your biology, your living environment, chemistry, physics. You're going to click on the earth science one and get it. And what I'd like you guys to do is for a homework assignment, there's the. Is I would like you guys to go to page 23 and answer 15 multiple choice review questions about latitude and longitude uh, and measuring the earth. Just multiple choice, that's it. You can answer them uh, and either email me in either Schoology or directly to my email like that. Okay. Um, one of those two things is very simple. Schoology is a nice, easy way for you to do it. Google Classroom, you can message me and well through that. Um, or you can do it right here through my own email as well. What's that going to look like? Looks like this, okay? If we click on the student section, open it up. There we go, I already have it, that's right. Click to page 23, and you get it here, here are the questions. Just 1 through 15, which looks like a lot, guys. But it's really, it looks like a lot here. It's only 15 questions, and they're all multiple choice. Okay, and that's it. And you guys submit it. Give it to me, make sure you send it to me, and you're done. Okay, again, here's what the page looks like. Just another thing showing you that. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.